This program is a presentation on pedestrian safety from the town of Brighton, the Brighton Police Department, and 12 Corners Middle School. All right, today we have some special guests here to talk about an important issue in our community, and that is pedestrian safety in and around our schools. Uh, where our school is located, there is a very high traffic volume, and uh, it does cause a lot of the teachers here, the administrators and parents, a lot of concern. So we have here today joining us for this assembly, Superintendent McGowan. Brighton Town Supervisor, Mr. Maley. And Brighton Police Department uh, Chief, Chief Henderson. And I'm gonna hand it over to Mr. Henderson and he's gonna take it away. Great, thank you, Dr. Moore. If it's okay with you, we're actually gonna be on TV a little bit later, so I have to step up on the stage. I like to walk around the front row, but I was asked to to go up so that we can uh, be seen. Sorry to, sorry to stand between you and lunch today, but uh, if it's okay, I'd like to talk about a, a pretty important topic. As the Chief of Police, I'm tasked with dealing with issues of public safety in the community. Oftentimes that means I have to look at the crimes that are occurring, looking for trends and patterns, I have to address those trends and patterns with staffing and patrol resources. Another function that I do as the Chief of Police is I look at our crash data or, or motor vehicle accidents in the town and I look for patterns and, and come up with solutions to why two cars come together. But the one thing that I'm here to talk to you about today is uh, I'm now entering my eighth year as Chief of Police and I've heard from oh, thank you. I went to a lot of parents this year, and I know you're, you're seventh graders, so this is not your first year at the middle school. How many, show of hands, how many people walk to school every day? Okay, a lot, pretty good. So, those that had your hands up, I want you to think back to last year, your first year navigating the roadway sidewalks as it comes up to the 12 corners. Your, your first day of school at the middle school, what's this experience gonna be like? And then you navigated some, some pretty busy roadways. So my goal this morning is to talk a little bit about pedestrian safety. And if I could get you to click down. How many people have seen this? Okay, if you were following the Brighton Police Department on social media, we have a Facebook and Twitter account, you would have seen that last year, this was our approach to pedestrian safety. See and be seen. There's a couple messages that we'll talk about a little bit further, but as you think of that placard or that poster, I want you to watch this video, please. Distractions. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day they steal today. your attention when it matters most. They're dangerous when you're driving, and just as dangerous when you're walking. Driving or walking, see and be seen. The instant you stop paying attention could be the instant you'll always regret. Okay, so there was a couple points that were made in this video. This is a public service announcement that was produced by New York State. And the, the theme is see and be seen. There's some things that I heard some laughter on, some things that I smiled about, but the message was, show of hands again, how many walk to school? How many people use earbuds and listen to music as you're walking to school? Okay, the last scene in the, in the, the public service announcement, it talked about a pedestrian being distracted, okay? And the consequences are tragic. And, and that's what was portrayed in this public service announcement. So I wanna to talk to you about some, some, thing, some themes that have been communicated to me from the community. Yeah. This area around the 12 corners has become very busy. It's one of the main commuter routes on the east side of Monroe County. I've been here working in the town of Brighton since 1986. 
Uh, every year, it seems to get busier and busier. And I don't think I have to tell you whether you're riding a school bus, coming to school with your parents, or walking to school on the sidewalks, it's pretty busy out here, right? It's pretty busy out here all times of day. So what I'm hoping to do, and if you could go uh, one more slide. There we go. How many people have seen these signs? Okay, so I'm, I'm, I've got a, a confession for you. Had I ordered these signs a little bit earlier in the year, these signs would have been placed at the 12 corners at the start of the school year, and we would be talking together at the start of the school year as this is a safety initiative. This is designed to draw the attention. Think back to the video of the young lady putting on makeup as she was driving. The other individual that was paying attention to their pet as they were driving. The one gentleman that was multitasking by eating his lunch and driving. I think that garnered the most laughter but it also garnered the most concern for me because the individual had a, a steering wheel in his hand, he had a sandwich, and he was trying not to spill the, the contents of the sandwich on his shirt as he was driving a car. And if I was a pedestrian walking to the 12 Corners Middle School, I'd be a little concerned about that because is that driver really paying attention to the people around the area? And that didn't happen, and that's why New York State has launched the C and B scene. There's some components that are addressed in here. The education component. Well, that's why I'm here today. We're going to talk about what we can do together and collectively to better educate our, our pedestrians that are walking to school, our students, or our drivers. Can you go back one? How many people have seen these rules of the road before? No? Nobody's ever had a conversation with your parent or a teacher at some point that talked about kind of that C and B scene? Okay. Rules of the road. How many people have heard the pedestrian has the right of way? Pedestrian has the right of way always. What happens if a driver fails to yield the, the right of way to you? The consequences can be tragic. So I'm talking to you as a pedestrian. The right of way is a legal term. So you're walking to school, you're not at the 12 corners yet. It's Monday, it rained yesterday, I'm sure you had some homework that you had to do that you were thinking about. Maybe you had a test, you have your both earbuds on, and you're listening to your best music, and you don't have to worry about pedestrian safety because you're not at the 12 corners yet. What about the people that are coming out of their driveways? Are they looking out for you, the pedestrian? How about this time of year with the light? It gets darker earlier in the afternoon. It stays dark longer in the morning. Are drivers, as they're leaving their driveways, looking for you? No, you have to look out for them. How, how about the side roads? Hollywood, Newton. Some of these roads that are not major commuter routes. Their traffic counts are starting to, to, to increase pretty significantly. So what I, I would ask you as a pedestrian for those that walk to school, be cognizant and aware of the surroundings of the roads that you don't think are really busy. Because it's possible one of those drivers is not gonna pay attention and yield that right away to the pedestrian. And now we're into the 12 corners. There are 12 corners in this intersection. There are two major roadways on the east side of Monroe County that converge, well actually three. They converge at the same time. A state route, Monroe Avenue. A county route, Elmwood Avenue. Another county route, South Winton, South Winton Road. They all converge at the same area. So what do we do? How do we get people through safely? We ask you to be, be seen. You wear clothing so that you can show drivers that you're on the sidewalk and you're coming up to an intersection. We cross at a designated crosswalk. That's the other E, engineering. You click through to two? Okay. And then we have a team. This team right here works the 12 corners. There are crossing guards. They work in the police department. We have a total of 12 crossing guards throughout the town. 
But if you see, this, this group of individuals works right out here every day. They're on post early in the morning, 7 a.m. Then they're back in in the afternoon. And as a result of a couple meetings uh, last two years, Dr. McGowan and I concluded that we should keep the crossing guards in the intersection a little bit longer in the day. Because what I have learned, when your school day is over, you have an opportunity to go get something to eat and then come back for after school activities, whether it's sports or something else. So we have lengthened the day of our crossing guards. Their sole function, their sole mission and purpose is to make sure that you cross this very busy area safely. They will tell you when it's not safe. They will ask you not to go forward if they don't feel it's in your best interest to do that. So one of those safety rules before talked about paying attention to traffic control officers. That's what's happening. Okay, one back. The other thing that we did was we alerted drivers that we are, that they are entering an area that is very heavily traveled with pedestrians. In this case, students coming to school. We tried to help drivers, just like we're doing the E here, the education aspect. We also do an education aspect with drivers. I don't know if you guys know this, they, they invented this new thing called social media. So we can communicate to drivers that, hey, there's something going on at the 12 corners. It's called the, the Brighton Police Department Safety Initiative. And what I talked about in our safety initiative is that I was getting a lot of complaints from pedestrians that drivers were not yielding the right of way. And we learned that the, rule, the laws say that you have the right of way as pedestrians. So the E component to drivers, we asked from an education standpoint that they pay attention to pedestrians. Well, guess what happened? They're not paying attention. So we moved to another E phase of this program. It's called enforcement. We gave fair warning that this is a heavily pedestrian traveled area. These signs are asking drivers to stay alert. I put out on social media that we are going to launch a safety initiative. Some of the media outlets, TV stations picked up on that. And then lo and behold, think back to your, your walking to school today. Were there any cars that disregarded and went through a red light? Well, I saw at 7 o'clock this morning a car that couldn't, the driver that couldn't make up their mind whether they were just going to sit and block all four lanes of traffic or just a crosswalk. Driving a car across the crosswalk is blocking an intersection. So what our officers have done is they're focusing on the 12 corners. They're focusing on Winton by the high school. They're focusing on Winton by the middle school. We're down by French Road. We're enforcing the speed zones. The, the accepted legal speed is a lot less in a school zone than it is in a non-school zone. Would it surprise you since we gave the information to the public that we are right about 60 traffic tickets that we've issued to drivers because they're failing to pay attention? To our initiative. We'll continue on the education aspect. We'll also continue on the enforcement aspect. Supervisor Mailey would like to speak. Thank you, Chief. It's great to be here, everybody. I'm, I'm so glad to see this, uh, this full room. You know, Chief Henderson and the police department have a lot of jobs they do, but nothing that they do is more important than keeping all of you, all of our students here in Brighton, safe. And it's a big job. We've got the 12 corners, we've got a lot of other spots. All, all of you are walking or riding your bikes. Maybe some of you have seen me, because I'm a walker. I'm walking in the 12 corners a lot and on our other busy streets. Now, how many of you, show of hands, how many of you are bigger than I am? Right, I didn't think so. But guess what? Guess what? As big as I am, sometimes drivers don't even see me when I'm walking. The chief mentioned Hollywood. I was walking down Elmwood Avenue, got to Hollywood Avenue. The light was green so I could walk. There was a car there waiting to turn right onto Elmwood, right on red. Everybody knows about right on red, but what do you have to do when you turn right on red? Look to see if anybody's coming. And he looked to the left, 
He wanted to see if any cars were coming from that way. I was coming from his right. He didn't see me. And he rolled out. He didn't hit me hard enough to hurt me. But if they don't see me, the chances are they're not going to see people that are smaller. The chief talked about right of way. I had the right of way, but if he kept going, who knows what would have happened. I also, I think two years ago, I was here at the school, I was here at 12 Corners, it was a great day. 12 Corners was being honored as a school to watch because this is such a great school. And they had an assembly at the end of the day, lots of ceremony, everybody was really, yeah, it's a great thing. It is a great school. And I think everybody was so excited at the end of the day. I know I was feeling real good. And I was driving out, out of the driveway, onto Monroe Avenue, and I looked to my left to see if anybody was coming. And what I saw was a student run across Monroe Avenue. Just bolt across, no crosswalk, no nothing. And I saw a delivery van. Kind of like that video you just saw. Now fortunately, the van stopped. And the kid wasn't hit. The student wasn't hit. But the, the, the feeling I had in the pit of my stomach and seeing the eyes of that driver, knowing how close he had come to hitting a student, he would have felt terrible. Obviously, the student would have felt worse. So please, see and be seen. It's really critical. The drivers are part of it. You're part of it. We devote all of our effort to making sure you stay safe. I'm going to hand it back to the Chief for some final words. Supervisor Mayor. Okay. One of the rules of public speaking is to know your audience. Okay? So I'm going to address you as the audience that you are. You're young adults. You've been at middle school before. Now, we're going to be on TV because we're being videotaped. So, I'm about to ask you to do this in the form of an assignment. I'm going to ask you to do this in the form of a homework assignment because I was sworn in this morning as a special teacher to do that. It's, it's not a hard homework. Tonight, I want you to go home and discuss with your parents what we talked about today. I want you to talk about the, the safety initiative. I want you to talk about how we take pedestrian safety very seriously here in the town. We came up with some strategies. That YouTube video that you saw, if you want to go on and do some further research, it's on the New York State website. But you got to talk to your parents because you never know. I may call or send an email, email to your parents and say, hey, did you see the video? If you didn't see the video, it's going to be playing on the cable channel at a certain date. And oh, by the way, I certainly hope that your son or daughter talk to you about the pedestrian safety initiative that we're doing in the town of Brighton, because we think it's important. For those that walk to school, we want you to get here safely. For those that ride a bus and, and, and you don't think that pedestrian safety applies to you, think about the times that you've gotten off the bus. Think about the times that you're staying with somebody, a friend's home, and you don't get transportation. We are all pedestrians. It's a great way to stay in shape. But we have to be cognizant of the rules of the road, but we also have to be cognizant that sometimes the drivers don't follow the rules of the roads. So that's why our officers issue tickets. And I shared with you what's happening in our community. But at the end of the day, we want to make sure that we're safe. See and be seen. Have a great day. This presentation on pedestrian safety was made possible by a collaboration between the Town of Brighton, the Brighton Police Department, and 12 Corners Middle School.